Using UI gesture recognizers is pretty simple. Here are the steps involved. First, create a gesture recognizer. In this course, you'll start off doing that in Interface Builder, but later you'll do it in code too. Each gesture recognizer will need to be associated with a single view. When touches occur within the bounds of that view, the gesture recognizer will find out if those touches match what it's looking for. If so, the gesture recognizer will call a method that you specify, and that will happen when the gesture starts, changes, or ends. So first, let's create a gesture recognizer. The app you'll be working in, Monkey Pinch, won't change appearance in the storyboard for the whole course. It consists of three image views, a jungle background, a monkey, and a banana. Open up the object library with Shift Command L and drag a pan gesture recognizer onto the monkey image view. Doing that both created a pan gesture recognizer and associated it with the monkey image view. You can verify you've connected it correctly by clicking on the monkey image view, looking at the connections inspector, and making sure the pan gesture recognizer is in the gesture recognizer's outlet collection. In this app, associating the recognizer with the subview makes sense, but in your apps, you sometimes might need touches to be able to extend beyond a subview's bounds. In those cases, you should add the gesture recognizer to the super view and then perform whatever logic you need to based on those touch positions. Either way, in Interface Builder, the gesture recognizers will be organized at the root level of the view controller, and they'll also be added to its scene dock. Now that you've created the pan gesture recognizer and associated it with a view, you just have to write a method so something actually happens when the pan occurs. Again, the pan gesture recognizer is going to call this method when it's first detected and continuously as the user continues to pan. Then, the call will happen one last time when the pan is complete, usually due to the user lifting their finger. In viewcontroller.swift, add an IB action named handle pan, which accepts a UI pan gesture recognizer. As is typically the case with IB actions, the gesture recognizer will pass itself as an argument. A gesture recognizer's view is optional, so unwrap it before continuing. For right now, that's going to always be the monkey image view, but later this method will handle panning for both the monkey and banana. You can retrieve the amount the user has moved their finger by calling the translation in view method. Use that translation to move the center of the monkey the same amount the finger has been dragged. It's important to set the translation back to zero once you've done that. Otherwise, the translation would keep compounding each time and you'd see your monkey rapidly fly off the screen. Now that the method is complete, you need to hook it up to the pan gesture recognizer. In main.storyboard, right-click drag from the pan gesture recognizer to view controller. A pop-up will appear, select handle pan. If you were to build and run at this point, dragging the monkey wouldn't work. The reason is that touches are disabled by default on views that normally don't accept touches, like image views. So select the monkey, open up the attributes inspector, and check the user interaction enabled checkbox. Build and run, and you should be able to drag the monkey around the screen. If you find that the smaller 10 simulators are running slow, try the max or one of the eights. That monkey should smoothly follow your finger around. 